Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my August update to the Throwback 30 Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was created by Jessica. I do have her link down below, as well as a link to the uh, Pantastic Ladies Facebook group, because if you want to join this project, you need to be able to go over there, because Jessica has chosen 30 projects from the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group. We are to look at each one of those projects and choose one prompt from each project to put into here. So there's so much information. It's just easier if you go over to the Facebook Facebook group uh, so that you can see all of the different projects. Uh, it is open to anybody who wants to join and it did start last month. I'll go ahead and link um, my intro here on the screen and down below so you guys can go check that out see all of the products that i put into here and the prompts i also have that listed in my description box i didn't say which prompt i chose but i told you guys what project each of the items was for and what my goal is so this project did just start a month ago it is kind of on the lower end of my totem pole of items that i'm working on because i still have 11 months to finish these but i have been working on a few of the items so let me show you what those are I'm not gonna be showing you every single product, just the ones that I have been working on. The first one is my Dove Eczema Relief Soothing Body Lotion. It was new when I rolled it in and I have used it six times and I am down to here. I think there was a big air bubble in here, but this is only 6.8 ounces or 200 mils. It's not a very uh, large lotion, so six uses and I'm going through this one pretty quickly. The next one that I have started using is from Riza. This is a uh, leave-in conditioner for your hair. Of course, the packaging is black. I wish I could mark where I am, but I have used this one eight times. It's a great leave-in conditioner. I did get this uh, in my BoxyCharm, so um, I am enjoying using it. Um, I just wish I could show you guys visual progress. We'll just have to go with weights instead. Next is a lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Kiss. That's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. I'll give you guys a swatch as well. So it is kind of just pale, kind of pinky, a little bit orange too. Um, just this nude shade that I'm wearing right here. I have only worn it four times. So this is where it was when I rolled it into the project and it is now down to here. So just a little bit of progress on this one. I mean, four times, I wouldn't expect a lot of progress, but I'm still playing with this one, deciding, you know, how I like to wear it. I'm wearing it on my lips today. I think it needs a darker lip liner underneath there. I'm gonna see if I like to use this maybe as a cream bronzer, maybe a cream blush. So I'm still getting to know this one and uh, discovering how I like to wear it, but I have gotten four uses out of it this past month. Next, I have been wearing my uh, Morphe colored pencil in the shade Coconut. This is it right here. It's just a basic white uh, eyeliner right here you guys can see the swatch um, this one I am actually wearing today I have it as my eyeshadow base here underneath all of the shimmers that I'm wearing on my eyelids I love wearing eye pencils as an eyeshadow base um, I know I can wear concealers and I can do all that stuff but I love using these especially because I have so many eyeliners I have got to get through them this is a creative way to use them up so I have used this one five times over this past month so just the smallest amount of progress right here. Progress will pick up. I am working on several other eyeliners and as I finish those or as projects end, the use on this one will pick up. Next is my perfume. This is my Commodity Gold. I am wearing this today. I absolutely love this perfume. It makes me so happy every time I smell it. Um, I have used it four times this past month. My goal is to try to use it 50 times in this project. I told you guys if I average about four times a month, that'll get me to 48 uses, so pretty close to my goal. So I'm trying to stick to that and wear it four times a month. That way I can uh, rotate through all the other perfumes and body sprays that I am wearing in other projects. But I absolutely love this one. It is an amazing scent. So I've hit my goal on the four uses for the month of August, obviously I still have 46 uses still to go. Um, let's see, next is my Pacifica 7 Free Nail Color in Red Velvet. I am actually wearing it today. I probably should have redone my nails because they're a little bit chipped, but this nail polish is so pretty. This is another usage goal. I'm trying to use this one 20 times over this uh, year. So um, uh, my goal is to try to use it twice a month so I can hit that goal. And I have worn it twice on my nails. 
I have the littlest bit of progress. I was here and now I'm down to this little purple line. Maybe I'm kind of between the two purple lines. I struggle to make these uh, lines with nail polish on the sides of containers, but I have two uses on this one. It's one of my absolute favorite colors. I'm really enjoying wearing this one. Next is a pair of products that I rolled in for one prompt. Um, I want to say it's turn and burn, something like that. It's just an item that you can use up really quickly. So I rolled in these Hemp's CBD. Uh, this is a shampoo and a conditioner. They are both gone. I got five uses out of each. So these were really interesting. They are very, they have a very menthol feel. I can feel it on my scalp every time I use them. These smell horrible. And it's not that they smell like weed or anything like that. I mean, uh, they're CBD, but they don't smell like that. They, they are both menthol. The shampoo smells like mentholated dirt. <laughs> and the conditioner smells like mentholated, I want to say like Robitussin, the cough syrup. It smells like that in a terrible way. Um, I finished up the conditioner first and there was still some use, some product left in the shampoo, and I just couldn't even do it. It smelled so bad. I love it when my hair smells nice and fresh and clean, and this did not do that for me. It did clean my hair, but the smell was terrible. So um, I actually let my wife smell these, and she's like, oh, I would have just dumped those straight down the drain. So <laughs> when I got uh, finished the conditioner and I still had this much shampoo left, I just, I got rid of it. I could not handle the smell. Um, normally I will push through on products that I, you know, aren't my favorite, but this one was so bad, I, I just couldn't do it. So the shampoo and the conditioner are both done. They're both out of here, and I am happy to see the backside of those. I would not recommend them. And I think that is my last product. I only have eight right here, so I do have two empties for this update. Do I have eight? Yes, okay, sorry, I didn't see the little lipstick down here. So I do have two empties in this project because the shampoo and the conditioner. So I did have 31 in here. I'm still working on 29 items. So don't know if I'll have any empties next month. I could start a product and, and, uh, and finish it. Some of them are, I have put into this project are a little bit of a gimme product. So I could potentially start working on some of those and finish them, but we'll see. I am prioritizing like my Beauty A to Z since that does end sooner than this one. Um, and as soon as I finish off items and other projects, then I'm gonna be rolling more of these items in and start using them on a regular basis. So that is everything that I have for you guys. Please don't forget to check out everybody else who's doing this project. I do have them linked down below in my description box. While you're down there, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.